Hey guys, Logan the Collector here. Um, just before I get started on the video, uh, thank you guys for all the feedback you gave me on my new intro. Um, if you haven't seen it, well, I'm going to be adding it to this video, but um, I posted a video last night and you guys gave me a lot of feedback um, of just the intro. and uh, So you guys really liked it, so I'm going to implement it. Um, but anyway... This video, I'm going to be covering my first ever Coinstar finds right here. Um, I was at a Walmart in Plattsburgh, New York. Um, see, where I live, there are no Coinstars because it's a fairly small town and none of the stores have them. But anyway, I walked by the Coinstar because I've heard these stories of people getting silver. In fact, um, Relic Digger, a popular... A uh, YouTuber that talks about coin roll hunting a lot. Um, he's actually one of the featured channels on the console version of my YouTube channel. Um, not console, computer version. Um, but anyway, he found a 1964D dime uh, not too long ago. I just wanted to give him a shout out too. Because um, I thought that was cool. Um, but... Anyway, what I found when I looked in the coin star, these were um, by where you dump the coins in. Somebody took these out of the reject slot, and they saw they weren't U.S. coins, so they said, um, screw it, just leave them, because they're not going to spend them. Uh, anyway, two 2007 Canadian pennies. I think the coin star rejected this, too, because it's an absolutely rotted zinc penny. I've yet to interpret a date out of it, but somewhere between 19, or late 1982 to 2008, because that's when the design of the Zinc Memorial Penny was, um, but yeah, I mean, I was happy to actually have found something in the Coinstar, um, usually I don't, and I don't get to go, but, or I don't see Coinstars that much. Um, like I said, I'm in a small town where there aren't any. See, my bank doesn't even have um, a coin star or a coin counting machine. Um, so when I do coin roll hunting, after all those live streams, I have to re-roll everything before I resubmit it. Um, I'll be right back. I got to get another coin to show you guys um, that I got in change. Anyway, guys. Uh, here's the next coin. Um, I just got this in change recently, and I thought it was cool. 1944 wheat cent. Um, but yeah, not, not super great shape, but I save every wheat penny I get. Um, I mean, I haven't got many of these, um, since I last coin roll hunted. I mean, I haven't been able to do it because school started and I've been busy, but I'm hoping to be able to coin roll hunt within the next two weeks. Um, as soon as I get that first box of pennies, though, um, I'll do a live stream. I, I'm going to get them on Friday, and I'll probably either live stream Friday night or Saturday. Um, most likely Saturday. But, um, yeah. I mean, the bank is open till 5 on Fridays here, so I will be able to pick up pennies very easily after school. Um, school gets out at 2. Um, but yeah, I'm really itching to do a, a penny box soon. I mean, I just haven't had the time lately because, I mean, there's been a lot of homework first few weeks of school, but I figure it... Um, Either it'll get, or there will be less homework, or um, it'll just be easier as uh, time goes on for me. But anyway, like I said, 1944 Wheat Penny, save all those. Uh, once again, thank you for all the feedback on my intro. Um, the story about the Coin Star finds, too. Um, Relic Digger actually texted me when he got the 64D silver dime, and I was near Coinstar, and that's what um, caused me to check. So that's how I was, or how I even made this video um, and got those finds, is because he or he said, "Go look at the Coinstar that's around you. You'll probably find something." And I did.
So that's why I gave him a shout out. Um, you guys should go check out his channel. It's really good. He does coin roll hunting videos almost daily when he can. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, I'll be doing more coin roll hunting soon, like I said.